Hello, I'm Jeff. I'm a technician at Aerotronics in the Experimental Division. Today I'm going to show you how to use a wire size chart to choose the right size of wire for your aircraft project. Okay, most of you home builders, aircraft home builders, will be familiar already with the chart here that I'm showing you. This is from AC43.13. This is, in this case, the continuous flow conductor chart. There is also an intermittent flow conductor chart, and you use it the same way. So I'm going to work with the continuous flow chart here, just to give you an idea how this all works. You'll see at the top of the chart, amperes, and the numbers along that top line correspond to the total amps of the circuit you're using. Down the left-hand side, there is several columns of continuous circuit voltage. Let's assume we're going to use the 14 volt column for this example. So if you follow the 14 volt column down, you'll see wire length in feet down the left hand side. Let's assume we have a 12 foot wire length total for this circuit. In yellow here you'll see I've highlighted 5 amps at the top. I've highlighted 14 volts at the top of the continuous circuit voltage column. And now I will highlight the 12 foot mark in that wire length in feet column. I'll highlight it in yellow here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a line down the five amp line and straight over from the 12 foot line. You'll see highlighted in red. And at the point where they intersect, I'm going to draw a line from that point straight down. You'll see highlighted in green. And it comes down to the bottom of the chart where my wire size is all shown. You'll see I've come out right between the 18 gauge and the 20 gauge. So obviously for this circuit, I would go one size up to the nearest up size, which would be the 18 gauge. One thing that you need to consider when you're planning this, if you are a composite airplane and you're going to have to run a separate ground return for something, say, like a nav light out in the wingtip, you need to include the ground return length in your total wire length in feet. So if it's eight foot out to your wingtip, consider that there's going to be another eight feet coming back. So use 16 feet as your total wire length in feet. If you're a metal airplane and you're going to use the skin of the airplane as your ground return, then that's not applicable here. In this same advisory circular, you will see that there is a intermittent flow chart and it works exactly the same way, except that there is a slightly smaller allowable wire size for intermittent flows. In general, we advise people to base their wire gauge off of the continuous flow chart. So that is how you choose your wire gauge for your circuits in your aircraft.